I'm getting one of those late, late night orders in again, but I'm ready for them tonight, though. Does it happen? Yeah, that's good. Hey. Oh, bars off close? I mean for boy. Right. 
Uh, how much your can soda is it? Uh, 105. I think I only got Cokes and Pepsi and Sunkies. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry about no that. I always got my car. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for the car. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. No I was ready for the late night order tonight. I was ready. I figured it would be kind of, kind of late, so I prepared myself uh, secure, security wise for it. Yeah, sure I did. Sure I did. Yep. <sighs> He's one few drivers, so this is basically where everything came to. Yeah, so, late night delivery, but. I definitely need the product, so I'll get the product again. We got um, 20 cases of the large 2 liter sodas, so sure we're glad to get them in here. They sell pretty darn fast and pretty consistent, so that's the kind of product you want. Something's going to sell really consistent, really fast, and fast turnover. That's where you're going to make your money at. Don't make your money and stuff sitting on the shelf. That's why if you're in business for yourself, there's no reason in being in business for yourself and just putting stuff in your store for show that looks good. Anything you want to put in your store, you want to turn over, make a profit off of it, or to get some more. Don't get stuff because somebody talking about it, especially in the kind of business I'm have. I have right here for 39 years. Somebody wants some cooking oil, I got one kind. When I have two kinds, I got one kind. You, you can get three kinds of cooking oil and have them sitting on your shelf and not selling. That's like money. That's like money. Sit, literally dollars and bills, 20s and 50s just sitting on your shelf. So you don't want to be in that kind of predicament. Everything you get, you want to be able to sell, make the money back, then redo it again. That's what you want to do. You don't want, you don't want to be, when you're in business, it's not for looks. Sole purpose of business is to make a profit. To make a profit, you got to. Because you got bills and obligations to pay. Like I say, when you're self employed you're paying for your lights. You're paying for your, your heating, your cooling. You're paying for pest control. You're paying for somebody to move your trash. You've got your own f stuff. You, you're cleaning your bathrooms and stuff else. You, you're getting your cleaning solution, your, your mop, your, your solution to clean the floor. Stuff to work. You're, you're cleaning stuff. You're working in this place. Because you allocated all these things to some company, you wouldn't be in business. 
he was making enough money to have a profit. So when you look at a um, sole proprietor, somebody in business for themselves, the reason why they're in business for themselves because they understand business. And the reason why they stay longer than two years and 39 like me because they know what they're doing. The average person getting business falls out in one to two years, they're gone, man. They're like history. So they put a lot of money, a lot of effort in it, but they didn't do the due diligence, the full due diligence to find out what's their niche, what they're going to make, what they're going to do, what's their clientele, who they're going to, who they're selling things to, who's going to be repeated customers, what kind of products they're going to sell. You got to be in that kind of game. Anything concerning food, man, is always solving a problem. Like if somebody comes in with some big old sodas, they got them for you. They want gallons of water, they got it for them. They want, man, chips and candies and all kind of stuff like that, I got it for them. They want milk, eggs, and cheese, got it for them. They want some canned goods, got it for them. You know, ice cream, and whatever they want, cakes and all kind of stuff, man. Everything. I even carry like stuff like uh, some stuff. Some stuff you carry holding along to like extension cords and, and combs for the hair and, and gloves for winter time and winter hats. Some of those things you hold on to along because you know seasonal. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Until next time.